From the outside, farming looks like a very male-dominated industry. The stereotypical view of what a farmer is, is a old man in a checkered shirt with a beard, a little bit grumpy. But I'd say women have always been the backbone of the agricultural industry. Hi, I'm Hannah Jackson, although you probably know me better as the Red Shepherdess. I started farming six years ago. I grew up always obsessed with animals. I was called Dr. Doolittle in the family. And on a walk, I watched this lamb born, and that was like my little light bulb moment. When I first came into the industry, I had a lot of different factors that weren't helping. Um, I was a scouser, I had red hair, I was a female, and I just came onto the farm, never been on a commercial farm ever. Um, so there was a lot of different barriers in the way. I always said that I'd do anything that a male farmer could do, and that's the attitude that I've had since day one, so I haven't let anything stop me. I think as a woman in farming, we can offer a lot more than men in some ways. Um, I often hear a lot of people say women are a lot more nurturing, a lot more empathetic, and that plays out massively, especially when working with livestock and animals. If I was to change any attitudes towards women in farming, it would be for people to know straight away that women are just as strong as men, they're just as capable as men and doing whatever job it is on the farm. Um, you just gotta let them do it. You're so pretty, you? You've grown so well. Okay, in I think when you step into the social media world, it comes with a lot of responsibility. And yeah, sometimes that is a bit of pressure. Some days you do wake up and you don't really want to share things with people, but um, it's all part and parcel of doing it. And it's really important to give people a glimpse into what it is to farm and where the food comes from and give people a bit of reality as well. So I do get quite a lot of trolling on um, social media. There's a lot of activist groups that can be quite vocal. And um, yeah, it's, it's about how you handle situations like that. And to be honest, most say I just ignore it now. It's so easy to get wrapped up and fixated on negative comments all the time. I always say to every one negative comment, there's 100 positive ones. I think my biggest inspiration is definitely my mum. She's been my biggest cheerleader from day one. She is the definition of a strong, independent woman. She's always taught us from day one that whatever our dreams are, they are achievable. It's so important to just be yourself. As I say, you do you and don't worry about anybody else. Um, and just be positive and push yourself in life, no matter what aspect of life it is about. Um, just push it and be the best version of you you can.